boy, it's a short clip, but it felt like an eternity, David. I mean, can you imagine? You saw, even though it was a profile shot, you saw the guy in front of baby Karen there, entitled. Like we said, they start so early here, there's not many details which airline this is, what happened next. But just react to what you did see. Is this not one entitled baby? Well, I was having flashbacks because at one point or another, I had a daughter who was that age who yeah. was on some airplanes and would reach for the person's hair in front. Um, but you know, as a parent, you have a responsibility to make sure, okay, you apologize to the people in front, you grab your kid, you make sure that your child is using a nice language. Uh, if this child was saying anything uh, that was offensive, then that's that's on the parents, and, and then they're not going to get much sympathy. Otherwise, okay, kids will be kids, and flying with kids is not easy, and it's not easy to be sitting next to kids, and we all have to deal with it sometimes. Um, but you know, parents, um, be careful. Make sure your kids are respectful to the extent that you can teach them that. And certainly, if they start to misbehave, you better grab them. Yeah, well, you're and you're speaking directly to baby Karen's um, parents and all parents out there. I too had similar experiences. My daughter's now 11, and I still have to tell her, "Hey, can you stop kicking the seat in front of you? <laughs> okay, please stop that." Um, but as I said, there's not much information here which airline, but you might be surprised to learn that people are actually criticizing that man in front for allowing baby Karen to get away with this unchecked. That guy. Um, is he just a tolerant, you know, former or a parent who doesn't have a toddler anymore? Or is he a guy who's the problem here? Because as you know, if you don't confront or speak truth to power to these Karens, and again, this is a baby Karen, but still, they'll just run amok, David. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with you're a passenger and some kids in your hair banging on your seat. You turn around and say, hi, <laughs> um, let's see if we can keep our hands to ourselves, okay? And then you look at the parents yeah. and see if they're on board and make sure they're on board and there's the problem solved. Um, I don't think it's a wise idea for people on a plane to sort of just take abusive behavior from anybody, no matter what their age, because I think that does reinforce some bad habits. Um, but again, for people who are taking these videos and everybody is entitled, you have your right to take these videos and film and maybe you should in these situations. But get more information. Find, you know, if you're gonna put this out there, say what flight it was, what time it was, where it was going, <laughs> who it involved. Don't just put video out there because then you're just leaving everybody to just make assumptions that may be incorrect. Boy, it sounds like I'm back in journalism school. You want these yeah. citizen <laughs> reporters to That's really right. do more reporting here and give us the who, what, when, where, why as much as they can to kind of fill it out. Um, you do need training it, because we're gonna keep covering these Karens forever, David. They're not going. Anywhere, so we might as well um, cover their full body of work.